Number 91 on our house inspection checklist is about general safety. And most of this stuff is common sense, but every once in a while our common sense could get us in trouble. We think that we're doing something correctly, but we've never, er never ever gathered the right information to realize whether or not we actually are. And a lot of times this can relate to something as simple as positioning a ladder incorrectly. The ladder's positioned um, incorrectly, you walk up on the ladder, it falls down, you're injured. So get a little more information on all of your power tools, ladders, any type of uh, equipment around your property. You know, I mean, a lot of things that you look at as, nah, that's not a big deal. These can be big deals if something happens. So it's just like a ladder. You know, if you're not comfortable climbing up on the roof, don't do it. You're not comfortable going into your crawl space underneath your home if you have a raised floor foundation. Don't do it. You know, if there's too many things that you're not comfortable with and you do need to hire a home inspector, then you're probably not going to be getting these inspections done once a year. Um, you're going to have to spread them out because, of, because it could get expensive. You know, the reason why I created this house inspection checklist was to make things simple simplified house inspection checklist, not complicated. So if you want to make things complicated, um, uh, hire a home inspector, you don't need this checklist. So don't get this checklist if you actually are afraid of inspecting the, the home yourself. You'd just be throwing your money away. Um, so with that said, general safety, use a lot of common sense, you know, understand some of the problems. If you go in, you know, if you're going to stick your finger into an electrical outlet, there's a good chance you're going to get shocked. It would be nice to know about this before you stick your finger into it. So get as much information as you can about safety around your home. And this will actually help you with creating a safer environment. Um, for example, I realize that a lot of building materials um, are slippery. You know, there's a lot of flooring, wood floors, linoleum floors, ceramic tile floors, um, smooth stair treads, stair steps, exterior concrete um, that's been finished real smooth. When it gets wet, it's slippery. These products are dangerous. You know, you can do something about it, do something about it. And a lot of the stuff that you can do you know, what it all comes down to is actually um, being educated and understanding, you know, smooth surfaces are dangerous. Ladders that aren't positioned pro properly can fall. So general safety is important when you're inspecting a home and it could lead to um, changes around your property once you understand that slippery surfaces create problems hey, wait a minute, I'm going to start checking the property or this will make, this will add to a decision that you make when you go to purchase something. You know what, I want to, I want to buy a ceramic tile floor. Hey, wait a minute, you've done some inspecting, you understand some of the problems, you're not going to get that particular flooring because it's going to be too smooth. So, kind of goes hand in hand. You get bonuses, the more you learn, um, the more stuff you understand, the more problems that you're going to eliminate in the future. If you own a house, you should inspect it regularly. But how can you inspect a home if you don't know what to look for? If you're not looking for a complicated checklist or something that wasn't written in a language that you can't understand anyway, do yourself a favor and visit this website today. The most valuable investment you have must be protected and inspected.